you're up in your attic and you need to get Wi-Fi, what is the best way to do that? Uh, just for a short period of time to watch a movie or something with your little loves. Oh, I know. Oh, you can get you. <laughs> My love. My little love. Okay, anyways. Real quick, so we got this Wi-Fi extender. I'm going to show you how to set up a TP-Link right here and do hardware or just Wi-Fi extension through the attic little girls playing tea and we're gonna also protect it with um, a little bit of EMF shielding so why not do it all in one have a blessed day alright guys we're gonna be installing this TP link now we did buy it slightly used and refurbished so I'm gonna show you procedures to reset it or just plug and play log right in and go at it so there's this little reset button there I am going to push that. So, right, guys, I'm going to show you how to set up a refurbished TP Link extender for those hard to reach places. Now, if you get a refurbished one, you're going to have to do the reset button, okay? I'm going to show you how to do that. So, come on down. Once you plug it in, you're going to have to get in there on the side. A little pen take your pen you're gonna hold it in on the reset button the little knob the power will go off and then you let go when that goes back on after resetting the TP link we're gonna now switch over to set up the password let's do it so we are going to reset our TP link because we bought a used refurbished one to save another 50% to extend the Wi-Fi up into the attic and this is how you do it so with your TP link installed to the wall you're gonna hold the reset button one two three three seconds turns off wait till it turns blue this will reset the codes and passwords back to admin admin once you've got that blinking light you are good to go TP Link RE450 or any of the various TP Links that extend the Wi Fi, you will go to tplinkrepeater.net as seen up here. And the password is now, like I said, user is admin. And password is admin. Ooh, logging in. Glory, this will save you anywhere up to $300 to do this with your own wisdom, knowledge, and accuracy. Now you can change your username to whatever you want. I'm just gonna do the one that I had configured earlier, if they let me, all right. And I'll put this on pop. Guys, once you have your new username and password, it's gonna scan for your current router signal. Your 2.4G and 5G signals. Once it scans and finds that, you will log into your router and extend its range. And then we can go through the EMF shielding that we can apply to this. So check this out. We've got Netgear right here. This is us. This is the 2.4 gigahertz. And I will add that password. Okay, once I've got that going. That is locked in. Now we do our 5G, guys. Same thing, add in your password. Click next. Once that's set up, now you can change this to whatever you want. I'm gonna change mine to, hold on. change the names of the actual component that we're going to find when our laptop or our Xbox or whatever it is finds the Wi-Fi signal. I change the titles to 2.4G and 5G just so it's easy. This is the SSID. Then you click next and now it should show the summary of connectivity. It says we are all connected so we can save this. Now the extender is going to reboot. I have this hardwired right in right now into my PC. Make sure you have that connected to your PC hardwire or laptop or desktop or touchscreen. Now it's going through the rebooting process. 
We're at about 20, 34%. We're establishing 2.4G and now 5G at about 50%. If there's an error, it'll stop right away and have you enter in the correct password of your Wi-Fi router. And you can call me, 224-281-5287, for any questions during this setup. I can, I'm available to come out or help you over the phone. Because we like to bless people. Tons of blessings, too much glory. Coming down, you know, heaven and earth. Woo! Wisdom knowledge! Alright, it says we're good. That will look like that when it's fully connected. Congratulations, you now have an extended network. Enjoy the internet! So finish this up, button it all up. I am connected. It's your username when you reset it. It's all right there in the left hand corner. So we don't have to use the pen. You can use the pen by um, looking at the box. So, the key is, once you log into your Wi-Fi extender, right here, Spirit of Extension 5G, you need to use your password for your router that's downstairs, that's extending. So now we're connected, we're secured, and now I can show you guys what we do for EMF shielding. So, recently, I had an order... Oh, that's some stuff for my wife. It's wonderful to have a healthy sex marriage and Christ, you know, amazing. Okay, anyways, love and intimacy, all those things. All right, so we're gonna find the EMF right here. This is a good deal. Twenty-two bucks. See, it blocks the five G stuff that we're experimenting with on our generation. We don't know what kind of radiation or you know frequency poisoning this can do to us so better be safe than sorry for 20 bucks totally worth it you can wrap your router in this stuff um it definitely blocks cell signals 4g lte and wi-fi 5g right here 2.4 and 5g bands really good i've tested it with an emf meter which i'll show you this is titan faraday fabric military uses this uh, for their own shielding in their own suits, especially when they're near big cell phone towers. They don't want to live near one of those. It's really crazy stuff. So we can check um, with our smart meter, but it's real simple. I'll show you guys. I'm going to cut out a piece. All right, guys, so 2.5 milligas is dangerous, and many adverse biological effects have been found. So real quick. Stay away from microwaves. Don't put your head next to them. I don't even use them. And hair dryers are really dangerous when they're really close. Feel bad for all the women out there that might be having severe skin damage. It's better to go natural, some of this stuff. Now, if you do want to use the internet once in a while, there's ways to protect, you know, not overexpose yourself, limit your time, don't sleep next to the thing. But anyways, converting the MG to... The micro tesla this is one of the best meters 2019 it measures in micro tesla so the conversion is pretty simple uh wi-fi extenders give about a five micro tesla so to milligas that's 50 and you know the danger zone is 2.5 so it's like 20 times is dangerous so that's why i want to cover it some of this electrical uh emf sheeting which you can find on amazon right here 20 bucks titanium faraday fabric as you can see i purchased it so we cut out a piece we're gonna wrap our wi-fi router in it because real quick the 5g settings they're they're not too bad they're still higher than we'd like them to be much higher they range up to anywhere between what 0.5 and 5 and so as you get farther back they're not as high, but still, you know, I want to keep that reading completely covered, especially if someone's going to be sitting here. So we got our chairs and tables right here. I'd like to just have it covered because sometimes it does shoot up pretty high from far away distances. And better be safe than sorry, just because we're the experimental generation with the 5G. 
So, 20 bucks covers your butt, and I'll show you what it looks like once I cover it. Hey guys, I've got my Faraday fabric. It came in the mail, giving it a good review. Titanium RF shielding. It's got some amazing 10 gigahertz shielding spectrum. It goes beyond the 5G. For all those, you know, terrorists, scammers that read all your cards, your information, or try and zap you with radiation. It happens. Radiation poisoning is real. So, safe than sorry, 20 bucks. You could wrap this in your briefcase, your wallet, your cell phone. We've already done all that kind of stuff, and I can show you how. So we're just gonna wrap this up and cut a piece just big enough to fit around our router. Guys, as you can see, I completely covered it. I popped some holes for the plug-in. So now we are going to plug it in, like so. There, we'll plug just to show you. I'm going to connect to that extender, the xt 5 g It's my Wi-Fi extension connected. Now let's test what kind of frequency our EMF shield is putting out. It's blocking pretty much everything. You see it's a little bit. Remember it used to shoot up to two to even five. So it's cut it down significantly, at least three-fourths or more. So to me that's worth it. And then when you step farther away, there's like no trace of it, which is what I like. I don't want to have anything extra, especially if this is gonna be plugged in all the time. And the hard wire helps. See there's no signal coming through the hard wire. All right, so it worked. Here's your EMF materic. I can put the links in there if you guys ask. I can also come and help install this through Motivational Construction LLC. That's what we do, help people live a better life with more wisdom and knowledge. Thank God. Have a good one.